The ASUC election is upon us. Today we'll be interviewing Senator Rosa Kwok to discuss her platform and the second annual sexual violence conference. I'm Brielle Moff. I'm Gabriela Da Silva. And this is Cal TV News. How's the election going for you so far? The election is good. Um, since I decided not to run for an executive office position, it hasn't really been as hectic as it was when I ran for Senate last year. I think this year, especially, um, people are really considering like the wellness pact. So um, the wellness pact was every candidate had to sign this pact so that they can prioritize their wellness during sprawling. And people have been really following that as opposed to previous years. On a more serious note, a significant part of your platform is alleviating the issue of sexual assault and violence. What do you think needs to be done at UC Berkeley and other universities in order to prevent this issue in the future? I think students need to be at the table when they discuss new, like implement new policies and um, talk about what more there is to be changed because right now we hold students to a higher degree than faculty and that's a problem. Last year, a senator on CalServe created the Sexual Violence Conference. Can you talk a little bit about that and its purpose? ASUC Senator Anjul Chug created this conference as a way to bring sort of intersectional sort of narratives and identities together to talk about sexual violence. Because when most students think about sexual assault and sexual violence, they think um, it happens in a narrow alley with someone they never met. But that a lot of sexual violence cases are people that we know and people that we are friends with. And so how can we challenge this dominant narrative that is so common when it comes to these cases? And how can we bring the marginalized voices together to talk about we as a community can do better and how we can learn how to heal better? What is something you want a UC Berkeley student or just a member of the community to take away from this conference? I hope they can lead the conference knowing how to engage in these conversations with their friends and family because this conference, it won't end sexual violence, but it will challenge a culture that really systematically silences survivors. Sexual assault and violence is extremely serious and is not something to be taken lightly. If you or someone you know has been a victim, please reach out for help or to report it.